Previously, on Resident Evil 2. Turns out, I do remember where to go. Um... I had completely spaced on the fact that... The, the path to Chief Iron's office is now open thanks to Claire and her knowledge of explosive devices not taking out half the building. So, hooray for her! But I have also, and you might have noticed, uh, remembered to grab the uh, film. Now there is three pieces of film in the game and it is the third one that I most often forget about or just don't bother to... Uh, to do. And so this is kind of, yeah, 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 this is the one I don't remember much of. It's film C. And now we're at a higher res, I understand what I'm looking at. It's a, a chamber that is holding what appears to be a tyrant. Who could that be? Development code. T-103 Due to accelerated metabolism relative to the earlier OO series, this subject possesses ex exemplary regenerative capabilities. PHX-016 file data. Oh, who's getting a hold of this information? I don't know, but brilliant. And it's, it's funny, I... This entire time, because it was on such a low-res uh, screen, um, and being such a low-res image, I had no idea we were looking at a tyrant. That's cool. Sounds like they made some improvements. Look at this jerk over here, trying to impede my progress. Ugh. Ugh. Dingleberry. Oh, I'm at danger level. Alright, let's fix that. Of course, I'm sure I'm only moderately fine. The lower level of fine. I'm so fine. Ooh, you blow my mind. Hey, hey, liquor. Hey, liquor. Yeah, I do karaoke. What of it? I don't. I have... It wasn't very impressive. I got a standing ovation, though, so maybe it was... Oops. What is going on with you, audio? <laughs> it was actually kind of cool. The audio distorted. I don't know if I'm, the uh, capture's going to get that, but by God, I hope it does. Oh God, oh God, oh God, danger, 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 Will Robinson, run! Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Alright, Chief Iron's office. Where are you, you rat bastard? Not here. Chief's diary. It's all over. Yeah, he's a bastard. That's for damn sure. Leon doesn't futz with that at all, because he doesn't care about secret doors. Oh, but he does care about ammo. Enough to rifle through uh, the chief's desk. Uh, but, you know, as far as he knows, the chief is well and truly dead. So, shrug. God, this hallway is so tight and uh, I don't like it. I like it relaxed. You can really maneuver around and get comfortable and enjoy yourself. Oh, what is this? Secretary B. Secretary's diary B. Guarantee you she is super dead. Uh, crank? Crank. Alright. With that in hand, we have everything we need to go... to go high. I am... fuck? I am fuck? The fuck? 
This is why I have that looming sense of danger. He's here! Run, Leon! Okay, take him out. Oh! Oops, that's a miss. Oh, my heart's a pounding. Uh. Oh. I guess I expect him to be as durable as the nemesis, and he's just not. All right. I'll have that. Thanks, buddy. Well, it was a little anticlimactic. My heart's pounding, so... Whew, he is a bit of an asshole, isn't he? You think he was following me or something. I'm just glad that Claire didn't bump into him. I'd be a... I'd be a mess. Oh, shit. You know what, buddy? I'm, I'm done with your sass. I don't need... Oh, God. <laughs> he was like, I can fucking smell you. I took a swing, but you know what? I'm moving so fast, that was just my after image. Oh, god damn, we are stacked. Do you see the situation? Tell you what, we're gonna play around. Oops. We're gonna have a bit of fun. And we're gonna play it smart at the same time, because we're not dummies. I think. Don't quote me on that. Tell you what, we're gonna stash that. We're gonna bring that. We took a pretty good swing, so we're in caution. We, if we take much damage, we'll we'll be in like low caution, and we'll be able to suck down the the medium herb for relatively full health. Yeah, should be fine. Should be right. So my senses were making me very nervous about this earlier. Do I? I was right about that cramped corridor being a danger. Do I need to worry about this too? Oh fuck. I might, I might need to worry about this. No, all right. Nothing to worry about. We're hunky dory here. And that's a okay with me. Dope. And we ditch the crank. Beautiful. I like it when it doesn't ask me, it just does it. It's called automation. It's it's not what that's called at all. Let's get off of the Magnum so we don't accidentally plug a zombie. Toss in the cog, push the button. Yeah. We're back in working order. Hot damn. Yes, I will take the night plug. And an old dust shoe. Will you jump down? Hell yes. Claire doesn't do this. Cause she's smart. Leon does this because he's dumb. No! Get away! No! Right.
Interesting. He didn't impregnate Ben like he did with Chief Irons. Very interesting. And yeah, I chose my words wisely. Impregnate. What else is it? You tell me. Comment section. Tell me what I meant. I stick by it. He was pregnant. Ben! Can you still hear me? Come on, answer! Damn! I don't believe this. I almost got the story. <laughs> ben. <laughs> Bitter irony. The chief of police. A co conspirator. Get that scum. Make him pay. Hang in there, Ben. Now put a bullet in him. Leon. I know what this looks like, but it's not what it seems. He was like this when I got here. Mail to the chief. I don't remember if we read this one, so I'm just going to go for it. Mr. Brian Irons, chief of the Raccoon City Police Department. We have lost the Mansion Lab facility due to the actions of the renegade operative Albert Wesker. I think we have read this. Fortunately, his interference will have no lasting effects upon our continued virus research. Our only, precedent con our only present concern is the presence of the remaining STARS members. Redfield, Valentine, Burton... Chambers and Vickers. If it comes to light that the stars have any evidence to the activities of our research, dispose of them in such a manner that would appear to be purely accidental. Continue to monitor the progress and make certain their knowledge does not go public. Annette will continue to be your contact throughout this affair. William Birkin. And they did a pretty good job of, of listing literally all the survivors of stars. So, canonically, everyone who, um, uh, everyone from Bravo team to Stars team made it. Specifically, I'm looking at you, uh, Burton and Chambers. They're alive, canonically. Oh, yeah. Mr. Brian Irons, Chief of Reckon City Police Department. This will in no way incriminate you if it finds itself in the law, court of law. I have deposited the amount of 10,000 US dollars to the account for your services this term as per our agreement. The development of the G virus scheduled to replace the T virus is near completion. Once completed, I am certain that I will be appointed to be a member of the executive board for Umbrella Inc. It is imperative that we proceed with extreme caution. Redfield and the remaining STARS members are still attempting to uncover information on the project, continue to monitor their activities, and block all attempts to investigate the underground research facility. Uh, to Brian Iron, Chief of the Reckon City Police Department, we have a problem. I have received information informing me that Umbrella HQ has sent spies to recover my research on the G-Virus. There are an unknown number of agents involved. They must not be allowed to take this project away from me as it represents my entire life's work. Search the city thoroughly for any suspicious persons. Detain any such individuals by whatever means deemed necessary and contact me immediately through a net. With these precautions, any possible threat should be eliminated. I will not allow anyone to steal my work on the G-Virus. Not even umbrella where are you going ada to the chemical plant i have a feeling that's where i'll find john ada wait hey leon are you still there we're leaving are you crazy the streets are still crawling with zombies it'll be all right trust me we found a way to the sewer. Follow us later. Claire! Claire! Wait, wait! Man, why doesn't anyone ever listen to me? 
Understandably frustrating. Ada doesn't listen to you at all. She just kind of bugs out. Claire's just like, I'm doing my own thing, Leon. Whatever, piss off. And Leon's just like, come on. I'm a, I'm a cop. You're supposed to listen to me. A miserable death. It seriously could have been worse. You know, interestingly, there's now a pretty good reason why Ada wants to go to the chemical plant. In the past, it never made sense. Ada sits there with Leon, reads the document, and then says, I am going to the chemical plant. Why? Because I have a feeling. Fuck you, dog. You know what? I don't care. Piss off. Uh, she goes, I have a feeling, and then it's just gone. And you're just like, why? Now it makes sense, and let me tell you why. In Resident Evil Zero, uh, the, the standalone, oh. no. Fuck off. In Resident Evil Zero, um, the standalone prequel for Resident Evil 1, specifically Resident Evil Remake, um, the Rebecca finds herself um, taking a train somewhere. Um, I haven't played Re Resident Evil Zero in a long time, and it's not great, I want to say, but uh, whatever. Shrug, that, that's not what I'm talking about. She, she's on a train, and she finds herself at the chemical plant, where Resident Evil... Two um, is around, and I guess I forget how it happens, but like she, Rebecca rides it back and finds herself in the mansion at some point. Um, but like the chemical plant is a part of this train system, and the letter here says, "Well, you read it. You read it with me, right?" Secretary? No. It says, we've lost the mansion lab facility due to the actions of a renegade operative. So, if you were escaping, might you go to the train and go to the chemical plant? It all makes sense now! Hey, William. You're looking a little worse for wear. Oh, that's how he gets the pipe. And buff. Jeez, you're a buff boy. Whoa! Don't get hit by that. Breaking with a pipe fucking sucks. Easy there, boy. I think if you still play with him while he's doing this, I think he can still take swings at you. But uh, I wasn't gonna have any of that. I know that's a little anticlimactic, just drilling it with a magnum, but I didn't want to do that. Oh, I didn't want to reload it. Fuck. Oh, now I'm kicking myself. you come from? Ada! What was that all about? Running off like that was reckless and stupid. Those zombies are everywhere, not to mention that thing that got Ben. I was there, Leon, I know. Look, Ada, as an officer, it's my job to look out for you but we're not going to get through this alive if we don't work together, okay? All right, we'll do this your way for now. 
Yeah, Leon, you tell her. Even though she's probably your better in every way, but whatever. You're just a rookie, but it's true, you got a shotgun and a magnum. She's just got a browning HP. And now also swamp foot. Thanks, sewage. Good times. I am taking a bit of a risk taking both of these uh, in terms of inventory management, but I'll take the shot for it. Well, Ada, here we are at the Umbrella Way Station. I hope that wasn't too fast, but I didn't want to wait too much. So, Ada, you hang out here for a hot minute. I'm gonna go down there. Actually, first, uh, first of all, I'm gonna take whatever's in here. And then... And then, get out my old kit. Which should be more than enough to handle everything here. But... Alright, yeah, I'll take that. Down here... Yeah. This is an optional area. Ada will hang out here, which is great. She can entertain herself. Report in to whatever operative station that she's communicating through. I thought this was clever. For Claire, uh, she just has to go back up the stairs to get the lighter. But not everyone's going to think to do that. It's just a very dark area, but there are goodies, and we do like our goodies around here. There aren't even any zombies. There might be in a range mode. And the other warehouse on the other side almost certainly has some zombies. But for the most part, the only thing keeping you from getting these items is knowing to ignite those lamps. So, good on you, Capcom. Just, it's not much of a puzzle, but it's just, use your head. What would you do here? It's dark, there's these lamps full of oil. What would you do? Fill, uh, light it with my lighter. The only reason why I'm harping on this point is because when I was a kid, I didn't think of it. Hey, lady! Leon, that woman was... I have to talk to her. Well, he's dead. Bye, Leon. We're gonna just peace out. Let Leon stew on that bullet for a little bit. He's trying to do so much right, and he's just getting screwed over. And Annette is just so gun happy. You remember how she treated uh, Claire? Well, she sees Ada here and she's just like, shoot to kill. Oh, right. She doesn't pick up anything. There's the ventilation slot at the end of this ladder. Will you go up the ladder? You damn skippy. Of course, we could use the ammo that she's carrying to kill the spiders. You know what? Let's... Yep. Let's, in fact, kill some of these spiders with Ada. Oh god. Don't pee on me. I feel like this is a dumb. I feel like what I'm doing here is a dumb. Tempting fate. Uh oh. Nah, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Just. 
you going, Ada. Don't worry about it. Yeah. It's fine. I don't know where her condition is. Until she starts limping, I won't know. These mutated cockroaches, I think, aren't... They don't do a lot of damage. Like, they chew on cherry pretty good. But they don't cause any damage. Poison's just gonna... Never mind. Don't move. You're the one who was with that cop, if I'm not mistaken. Identify yourself. Ada? Ada Wong. Ada Wong. I've heard that name before. Now I remember. One of the men from Chicago who came to assist the T-Virus research used his girlfriend's name as his password. Ada and John, I believe. How did you know? Who are you? Annette Birkin. My husband is the man responsible for the creation of the T-Virus. William Birkin. What? John's dead. He became one of those zombies. My condolences. And although I regret this, you will be joining him shortly. I won't let anyone take the G-Virus away from me. G-Virus? It's capable of creating the ultimate bioweapon. Its potential is even greater than that of the T-Virus. Then that must mean the creature in the police department is... Precisely... My husband, William. And it's all Umbrella's fault. None of this would have happened if they hadn't tried to steal his research away from him. Where did you get that pendant? It looks exactly like the one I gave Sherry. She dropped it. I've been holding on to it for her. Liar! Give it back to me! <sighs> <sighs> Nice. Too bad. What are you planning on doing with that, Ada? 